So immediately, I mean, even from the very start, the yellow jerseys, Fumic okay. and Avancini have put themselves right in there. Nino Schurter, as the race has progressed, you know, he, he came into the race saying, well, DC, maybe we're just having a look this year. We'll, we'll see what happens in the future. You know, maybe this is a good good way to have a look and see how to win this race. But uh, after yesterday's stage, he made up the Bortrefi pass and got that puncture, which set them back. And as a result, they weren't able to uh, take the stage win. But they're still in fourth place here. Yeah, very impressive. Yeah, um, Kansai Plus gone uh, very unfortunate up until this point. I know on stage one they also had a, a, another mechanical issue with a chain, so they, they lost quite a bit of time there. And, and yesterday, being a, in a quite strong position up the Bortrefield Pass, uh, unfortunately suffering another mechanical t a tyre issue and, and then uh, losing a position at the front of the field. Well, they're rolling along in Montoya this year as they make their way up the Niverberg Pass. Not quite Niverberg. No, this is the cement trails. Yes, I know where that is. Yeah. Yeah, so this is before they would yes. get to the Neverwork Pass. This trail, they've got um, quite a good surface here. Some con concrete strips have, have been laid down on this trail and, and making traction traction very easy for these riders. But it's steep. It gets very, very steep up the back end. Look, look riders looking in support of uh, Investec Songo Specialized. So it hasn't had too many opportunities to uh, get out on the front as Europe Steel Piger goes through that uh, South, at least a shirter. And uh, the rest of them, that uh, little climb has uh, stretched it out a little bit here. There's no question. It's about out of the back. Right, so look over his shoulder. Matthias Bierkes is there just trying to bridge across. Oh, so, there they both are. So uh, Schurter is, again, just monitoring every move that goes on here. Yeah, we can see the riders here starting the, the, the bottom slopes of the Nieuwerberg Pass and um, the Nieuwerberg Climb and, and the, the Paga Euro Steel Boys right at the front. The, the main protagonist in the race at that point let them go and they, they got a very big gap on the rest of the field and managed to win the stage and, and similar to attacks I'm definitely marking them here absent from this group it looks like uh, yellow yellow um, little jersey leaders are, are not here as well as Songo um, Investec Songo Specialized not, yeah. uh, not in this group they are uh, just to Put you in the picture on GC Pige Euro still a 37 minutes down uh, on uh, the leaders. So no threats. Uh, Investec Songo specialized Sauza and Kulhavi. We can see um, Sauza struggling to stay on the wheel of Kulhavi here, really battling, battling hard to, to get up to, to his teammate. Yeah, there was evidence a little bit of that yesterday on the uh, later climbs in the in the race that Sauza was just losing a little bit of. Uh, uh, space to his his partner Kul Harvey is acknowledged as well. There they are, Cannondale Factory Racing, now seemingly behind Investec Songo Specialized and Kansai Plascon, and Enric Avancini on the front here. Manuel Fumig behind them. Whether they've had a mechanical and uh, lost time, or whether they just uh, physically not uh, there today, we'll w wait and see. But quite a technical little climb here. Voda and the, possibly uh, the uh, team from. Uh, I thought that might be a trek out of San Marco, but it's not. A look, quick stop there for Enrique Avancini. Yeah, the leaders. Uh, uh, Kornbrink and uh, Bell will put it down. And this is the yellow jerseys, Fumic and Avancini. They've had a matter, all manner of issues today, clearly. And they are losing time hand over fist. And uh, you've got to think that on... Uh, the, the road at the moment, they are no longer in the lead. Uh, that is complete speculation, but you, you sort of, you've got to think that they are probably more than a minute and uh, 40 seconds down in... Uh Time we saw the Pagas, um, you're still on camera here, com repairing that wheel, and and Canel only passing that point now. Um, they, are, they are miles behind at this point. Group here, Schurter and Stürmann, Frischrecht and Van der Hayden, all from the Scott Stram camp, and Trek, Seles and Marco have a man up there. Not entirely sure which one of uh, Damiano Ferraro, Fabian Rabensteiner it is, but one of those two has latched onto this group of uh, four Scott riders for whom uh, Nino Schurter is just doing an enormous amount of work. He's totally focused now. The world champion, the Olympic champion, one thing missing from his Palmeiras is an absolute Cape Epic grand uh, general classification victory. He's won stages here before. But uh, he's looking down the valley now and he can probably see where his rivals are and calculating what needs to be done to maintain the gap and very, very little rain. You are very, very dry in, in this area of the world, but um, the overnight rain getting the, the ground to settle down a bit. <laughs> Excuse me. So this is Centurion Vauda and this is Robach and Gismar sitting on the wheel 
of Ori Avancini and uh, Manuel Fumic, the yellow jersey, still going up that climb that we saw Scott uh, Sram going up oh, a minute to two ago. So there's no question that that lead uh, of 142 has dissipated. And Centurion Vada had their issues and they are sitting with uh, these two. Perhaps these two also had a mechanical earlier in the day. Look at this rocky. Yeah, I would climb. think that they, they must have suffered. This close, they desperately want to. Yeah, and, and uh, on today's stage, and uh, who knows what might happen on the Queen stage tomorrow? Yeah, these riders here, they they not panic at, in in this situation. Uh, if they start panicking, they start making mistakes, uh, like going too fast into corners, and and that would actually just um, make it worse for them. And uh, they should just stay calm, and they know what they need to do, and 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 just limit their losses. Behind them is Stefan Sam on that e-bike. Will bring us images uh, from uh, the, the ride in uh, to Peloton again. Nino Schurter just stretches ahead. These youngsters, every time they look up, Nino Schurter's four or five meters ahead. There, uh, it must be desperate for them, but they're keeping it together very, very impressively. Yeah, I think they they want to try and ride within themselves here. Even though they want to increase this gap, Nino must be very uh, cautious not to to burn his fellow teammates. Uh, and that is uh, perhaps the, the the key issue here. Now, let's have a look here. This is the yellow jerseys and uh, the red of Piger Eurosteel. Yeah, quite a big chase group here forming. And we've got the Bulls riders. It looks like Urs Huber and Carl Platt in there of Eurosteel, um, as well as our, our overnight leaders, um, Avancini and Fumic. Who, as I said, were 6.39 down at uh, 41 kilometers. So, this is Simon Steepjohn and Tim Burma and their Bulls guys. So there's a there's a split in one of the Bulls. What the what the time gap is, but if if we, we are seeing the pictures correctly, Kansai Plascon would be ahead of the uh, the Cannondale group, and they're gaining some time um, back in the overall GC. Meanwhile, Scott Sram. For once, you know, Schurter has given way. You can see. Look at that. The the uh, dark nature of that trail will tell you that. From the uh, Investec Songo Specialized, that's Harvey Kombrink of uh, NAD Pro. And they are enjoying a very good day out today as well. Uh, NAD Pro is Harvey Kombrink and uh, his partner Nico Bell. Oh, spectacular images of these uh, purpose built Oak Valley area. Holding nothing back now. Schurter really winded up on these trails. They love it. And they're heading in. I think they are on the uh, trails of Paul Kluver and heading towards the amphitheater at Paul Kluver, I think, which is water point three. You see them closing in enough that um, you know that they've got about what is it, just over over 30 seconds in hand on, on um, Investec Songo Specialized. You, you might even see a, a bit of a shake up now. Well, look at uh, the yellow jerseys just also hanging in for as much as they can. They've had a torrid day. They've had an incredible uh, week in the yellow jersey. Uh, they, I reckon uh, if you'd offered that to them at the start of the week and said you're going to take the prologue uh, win and then carry the yellow jerseys through to Friday, how, how do you take that? I think uh, Manuel Fumic would have taken it straight away. Thank you very much. Enrique Avancini, it looks as though he's recovered a little after his... Uh, Bonk going into the third water point, a bit of fuel in, and now they're starting to motor in. Going to uh, work in two to T and in, in, on two consecutive days today, and, and can they do it again tomorrow? So they are heading towards another finish. There they are. Yeah, we can see Nino just leading his troops home, and, and he'll be very proud. Here they come, Schurter and Sudderman on the front, and I don't think there's any doubt, Schurter and Sudderman will take this one, in first stage win for Matthias Sudderman, and uh, Nino Schurter will be executed by uh, the Scott team, and look how close they were. No, that was very close, um, we would need to grow great performance by experience of Investec Song, well tonight they would need to go give it over to, to Scott Tram if that is... Yep, it looks like uh, 
it will be Scott Stram in the yellow. In fact, I don't think there's any doubt about that. But Investec Songo Specialized, it's uh, all in for tomorrow's day uh, to uh, see who. Well, he said everybody the decider, but uh, someone's going to have to crack quite badly for it not to. Cannondale Factory Racing. Lights went out today. We have news that they did have an early mechanical which set them back anyway. So they were always going to be chasing. And uh, they haven't had that to, to do at any stage during the race. So it put extra pressure on them and it put them under the stress of having to, to make up that time. And uh, as a result, uh, Avancini just blowing with about 60, after 60 Ks. He's recovered well. Yeah, it was all about crisis management for them throughout the stage. I think uh, they knew that they not in, not having the greatest day out and, and just trying to limit their losses. Unfortunately, they've, they, they have lost quite a bit of time. Here they come, uh, Fumic and Avancini. The Canada factory racing pair finally get home and we think they've got into seventh, uh, eighth place actually, eighth place for them today. And uh, they have decisively lost the yellow jerseys. and. Plus, perhaps they're in third place. They might still be in third place because Kansai Plascon were 11 minutes off them, so uh, they will hold on that. But but.